All right, hey there, YouTube. Uh, today is Sunday, April the third, and I have a problem with my Crossman lawn tractor. Um, I was taking it out for the tour uh, about Friday, so a couple days ago, and what had happened was the transmission just stopped giving power. Uh, I wouldn't go anymore, no matter what gear I put it in. Um, what had happened was I had it in second or something and put it in a third without using the clutch was probably a bad idea. Um, then nothing was happening. I uh, played around with it a bit, put it in a six and stuff. And for some reason it started to click back in. You know, then uh, shifting back down, um, nothing would work. And no gears, no nothing would work. Um, so yeah, it was just dickered. But uh, I had had that problem before and thought it may have been the shear pin. Okay, now I, I took the transmission pulley off, um, checked to make sure the shear pin was everything was tight, uh, everything was tight, the, the little uh, Allen bolt that's on the bottom of the pulley was pushed tight to the uh, shaft of the transmission, everything was good, so it was definitely not that. Belt was on, belt was good, Nothing's. it's not the engine, uh, I know for sure. Um, I was doing a bit of research and I found out that when your lawn tractor starts kind of like uh, like jolting you back and forth kind of and you kind of feels like it's skipping well that just usually means that uh, some of the teeth are worn down on the actual transmission or transaxle in my case now um, what happens is after you know a certain amount of time the teeth wear down to almost nothing and that's when you absolutely get no power and you can't go anywhere now uh, I don't know if anybody's been following me but uh, I did do a pulley swap on this and I made it go fast and all that good stuff and uh, I guarantee that's what made it hard on the transmission not to mention I was shifting without the clutch and all yeah <laughs> Just uh, fucking beat the shit out of this thing. So, uh, now what I was researching was uh, these older transmission or transaxles. There was actually a lot of them. They're all like the same uh, same type. Just the difference was that they had uh, four speed, five speed, and six speed. This one, however, is a six speed. So I'm hoping what I can do is either find maybe some parts for this one, or if I can get a new one for cheap. Now, if I can find parts for this one, I will put them in. Um, however, for now, I will be taking it out. I will be taking the transaxle out. Um, I'm going to have to do it here just because a car does sit in here most of the time, so I'll have to be cramped with space. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be ripping it out today, but you won't see this video until I actually have this out. Now, from what I've seen, it doesn't look that that bad. Um, take off the tires and start disconnecting all that shit, take out the battery, la da da da, whatever. And uh, then I'm gonna crack it open, see what's going on inside, see how, exactly how bad those teeth were, and go from there. So, we'll see how it goes. Okay, Thanks you too. So as you can see, I have gotten everything off. Well, not everything off, I still mean the tires. Tire one and two, that one is for this side, that far one is for that side. Um, there's the brake, I'll probably start with that braking, getting that old thing off. And uh, then we'll work for there. So, just kind of an update, showing you what I'm doing. Uh, those are the tire parts, those are going to be the transmission parts. Or just brake parts, I'm not sure, I really don't want to mix anything up. So, yeah, that's a um, so little part one, but uh, this will all be integrated into a full video. Okay, how do YouTube transmissions out? Transaxle, apologize. Um, yeah, wow, holy shit, it's out. <laughs> friggin' rights, man. Friggin' rights, friggin' rights. So, um, I didn't really know plan how to do it. Just disconnected everything, left out the tractor, transmission did its own. Uh, yeah. Um, Pretty excited about that. Um, I'm gonna try to get out of the way and position this in a way it can't dick or anything. So I'll be back. Well, there's big dirty. Or should I say little dirty? Well, actually, I think broken dirty would uh, be the correct term for this. 
Uh, did nothing special. I just kicked the jack stands out and just put it on the ground. And over there is the f fucking goof transaxle. Um, what am I gonna do with this? Uh, well, what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to seriously look for a part for this. Uh, actually, I don't even know. You know, this looks like a wasted time. I'm gonna try to find a new one. Actually, I don't, I don't even know what I'm gonna do. I, I shouldn't be saying anything just because I just, just, just don't know what to do right now. I'll probably post this up and make a part two and actually start doing shit to it. Don't worry, we'll get you fixed up. I hope.